How's it going guys? I'm Mr. Mill. Welcome to the K-1 through Lesson Preview. Now, I do have, I was going to break this down into six videos, um, but I don't have a lot to show. So, and plus I have already a lot of videos already with the, about me and then the, um, the overview of how this whole e-learning thing is going to work. Um, so I just figured I'd combine them. So K-1, 2-3, through one, two through three, and then 4-5. through five. So if you're K-1, through one, which meaning kindergarten through first grade, this is the video for you. So uh, let me just do a quick lesson overview. It's not going to be everything. I might just throw in some things here and there because that's more of my style. I like to be more spontaneous, but at least I can give you guys a gist of what's going on with uh, your year. So um, if you're in first grade, uh, you'll probably see a lot of stuff that's familiar that you probably have done. Like, oh, I've done it before. Well, I still want to show you guys, or I still want to show kindergarten what they're doing as well. So, if you've seen things familiar at first grade, then great. Uh, if you're in the upper grades that's watching this, feel free. So, um, I'm still watching my son Carter here, and uh, he's doing great. Oh, he's upstairs. Come watch him at the moment while I'm in the basement. Anyways, there's that, and he's awake. I think I gotta. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> my son didn't want to stay down, so. Took him down here, but work is work, so I gotta keep filming. So here we go. <laughs> all right, for kindergarten, uh, I've been doing a lot of um, read-alouds with all these books I've been finding at the library. Uh, not for just him, so I've been looking for books for him. I've been looking for uh, oh, books for you guys. So um, most of the stuff that I read uh, is brand new. Some books I have never read before, so you won't see them in here. But I can show you some lessons that um, I plan to do with you guys. So over here we have uh, the pigeon, and uh, if you've ever seen this book before. There's tons of books uh, by Mo Willems. Uh, the Mo Willems is the author and illustrator of the Pigeon books, and uh, we'll do something related to this. So if you guys can see, oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> there's a camera right up there. Um, never mind. So there's that. Um, over here, uh, a famous artist that we'll go over is Vincent Van Gogh, and uh, his famous artwork is Starry Night. So we'll be doing this on not this big of a construction paper, but um, here's just two examples. So it doesn't have to be black construction paper. It can also be you know, a color of your choice, like purple. So we'll be doing Starry Night. So that should be fun. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna work for e-learning, but um, yes, that's my that's my chin. <laughs> uh, this Apple project, this is gonna this uh, when during the school year um, for uh, kindergarten. This is always the first lesson that they do, and I like to hang this up in the hallway because it makes it look schooly. <laughs> that's a word. But anyways, this is a, a student. This is not mine, but. A student that used to go to Homestead and uh, they just left it there. Uh, they never picked it up. So, anyways, there's that. Uh, I I would have more kindergarten examples, but I only took the ones that I thought were doable at home. Um, there's a lot more stuff at school that's more hands-on. Um, yeah, that's my face. <laughs> What's going on? So uh, there's that. Uh, first grade. Uh, I do have more books as well. I've been doing a lot of read-alouds, and again, a lot of books I've never read before. So a lot of my lessons will be brand new. Um, so let's look, look at some of the old ones. Uh, some of my first lessons, I have this like little worksheet on um, how to draw a husky because you're a huskies and normally kindergarten they learn how to draw like a husky pond stuff. But um, for uh, first grade we go more advanced. If you're in kindergarten you could probably try this too. Um, it's, a husk, it's a husky using it's like a cup. Kind of like do the circles and stuff and make a husky face out of that. So let's put that there. You okay buddy? Okay. <laughs> um, next one. Uh, Patterns. So these are. This, it looks advanced right now, but it's actually not too hard. So um, first grade, I, I bumped this down. This used to be third grade, then it used to be second grade. So I fit. I think uh, first grade will do great with just patterns. So I can't wait to do that. Uh, over here, uh, this is based off of uh, Mondrian. Mondrian's a famous artist, so that's another famous artist that we'll go through. And the reason why I like going through Mondrian is because. Um, when you do like blocks or squares and rectangles and you have intersection sections like this you can talk about how primary colors uh when you combine two primary colors they equal a secondary color so i thought this project is really well and uh, that goes for that so again i don't have a lot of examples here at home i don't want to bring my whole classroom at home my office and my whole house will be too full so um that's that but um i do have a lot of exciting books for you guys and i can't wait to see you guys in the future and i think this video is running kind of long because i'm already running on like i think four videos now and it takes a long time to edit so anyways that's it for this video and uh we're gonna say goodbye all right say goodbye bye say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh.